today is our very first day here fishing in the Florida Keys. We just pulled over to this little beach and we are casting out a line. Maybe we can get lucky, get some fish on this morning. First off, look at how clear the water is. But do you see that little guy down there? I don't know if that's a sea slug or a hermit crab. Hold on, let's, let's grab him and find out. Oh, look at that. He was just cruising along. All right, little dude, you can go back down there. Oh my God, I cannot express how much I love this clear blue water. Look at this little jellyfish swimming on by. This water is just so unbelievably clear. Look at that dude. How neat is that? Look at this little crab that just is strolling on by. There's all sorts of wildlife just passing me by as I sit here and catch no fish. Look at him. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is super exciting. Today is day one here in the Florida Keys. Today we are planning to do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of exploring, but first things first, we've got to feed me. So we just pulled up to this little cafe on the side of the road. It's called Florida Keys Cafe. So I think we're gonna head inside, get kind of a late breakfast because it's about 10.30 right now. And then we'll be ready to go slay the fish. Let's do this. All right, y'all, let's go get us some breakfast. Let's go. Much needed water. I've got to say my first meal of the day was delicious. I had a grilled chicken sandwich at that Keys Cafe and it was really, really good. It hit the spot and now we are here at jigs bait and tackle there's guns ammo and bait but we're just here for the bait we are getting some live shrimp and then we're heading to no name key bridge and seeing if we can catch some fish all i have to say though is it is unbelievably beautiful down here i am ready to move the only thing holding me back is hurricane season <laughs> all right we got our live shrimp and we're ready to go. You excited? Try. Right. Y'all, down here in the Keys, there are chickens that just wander around. And it is my favorite thing. Look at all the chickens. I love it so much. We are currently on the No Name Key Bridge doing a little bit of fishing. I guess Cody just caught one right behind me, a little snapper. But it is just absolutely beautiful out here. The water is green. You can see the fish swimming. So much fun. I am enjoying the heck. Oh, look, there's me a friend right there trying to eat Cody's fish. I'm basically just letting it drop right here over the side of the bridge. And normally within a couple minutes, I have a bite. Oh, there we go. There's one right here. Ooh, that's a fish I have never caught before. Y'all, I'm so excited. Brand new fish for me. What do we have?
lot of fun fishing the No Name Key Bridge. That was the first place we have caught a fish down here in the Florida Keys. Caught a couple of new fish, so that was pretty cool. However, as soon as we got there, I noticed a pelican that had a fishing weight hanging off of his neck. And I looked at him a couple times and we could never get like close enough to grab him. So right before we left, there was two older gentlemen standing there and they were talking about the pelican with the fishing hook in him. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna walk over there. And then we made up a plan and we decided we were gonna grab the bird. So we got everything off of the pelican. Here is that video. Okay. All right. It's good, it's good. He's good. We got you. We got you. Look y'all. We spotted this pelican with some fishing line and fishing weights hanging off of him. So we're trying to see, as you can see, he's got a hook embedded in his body. Be real careful with it, Cody. We're gonna see if we can get this hook out of him, get the fishing weight off of him. But good job. That's one fella. I know. Oh, I know. That's one. I know. I know. I know. That's it. That's Alright, see if he has to resist him. Is that everything? We'll just let him sit. Alright. There you go. Look at, Look at that. Good we boy. got it off of you, bud. That's better than it was. Alright, see y'all later. Good job, everyone. That was awesome. Oh, that was awesome, huh? Heck yeah. There he goes. He's on getting the heck. Well, here is what we just pulled off of that pelican. He had a fishing weight attached to him. He had a hook embedded in his side. And we just got him, y'all. He is all good. We're gonna take this home so no other wildlife get caught in this. We did our good deed for the day. We got the pelican. Cody popped the hook out. We got all of the line, the fishing weight off of him. So that's going to give him the best chance of survival. So I was glad that those guys were there and volunteered to help me out. And we got it taken care of. Maybe I can get rewarded with a good fish now. Anyways, it is now 2.17 p.m. We are crossing over one of, I think, the 42 bridges that connect Miami down to Key West, and it is just absolutely beautiful out here. The water is just crystal blue. I don't think you can see it because of the way the sun is hitting it right now, but y'all, it is magical down here. I just wish there wasn't hurricanes because I would move here right now. <laughs> It is so pretty. We are here on yet another fishing bridge. This is right next to the seven mile bridge here in the Keys. And we've just been walking down this thing for what feels like forever. And we've truly only seen like one big fish, which is absolutely crazy to me because we are just surrounded by water that we can see through on both sides. There's structure everywhere. like. Where the heck are the big fish? Obviously not right here, I'll tell you that one. I left my fishing rod like way down there. I think we're about to start walking back and I desperately kind of want to go get in the water for just a little while before the sun sets. So we may do that next. But seeing all the stingrays and everything off of this bridge has got to be the coolest thing. They're everywhere, just no fish. Y'all, look at this giant ray under the water. That guy is huge. Oh my golly. Look at this guy. How neat is that? Look at that ray. It's unbelievable. Look at his spots.
Look at those pretty little fish just swimming around in there. How neat is that? that you, the water is just so clear. You can see them swimming all around. Here they go. Well, day one in the Keys is officially over. Cody and I got back to the room at about 7.30. We snacked on some stuff and we've both taken showers now and we're about to go to bed because we are flat out exhausted. We walked like five plus miles today walking down trails and down fishing bridges and we had so much fun. Although we only caught a couple of fish, it was still such a really neat day. Saw a ton of really awesome wildlife and it was just a oh, beautiful place. Highly recommend coming down to the Keys if you ever get the chance to do so. But all in all, day one in the Keys was a success. It is about 8.45 right now. I think we're gonna go lay down and pass out because we're gonna get up early tomorrow and go to Key West. It's about an hour drive south. So we need to get some good sleep before we head out bright and early tomorrow morning. I hope that you guys enjoyed day one of Key West. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.